Hi, I'm Desi Serna of GuitarMusicTheory.com. Welcome to Guitar Picking Mechanics. If you are beyond the beginning stages of playing guitar and you want to become more proficient at using a standard guitar pick, then this is the course for you. Through a series of exercises that focus on different aspects of picking, you learn how to improve your picking accuracy, speed, and comfort so that you become a better and more confident player. After completing this course, you will be equipped with the picking skills needed to play music's most popular guitar songs. Your path to picking improvement involves the development and application of the following techniques. Alternate picking along single strings. Changing strings on downstrokes. Downstroke sweep picking. Downstroke economy picking. Upstroke string changes, sweep picking, and economy picking. Pick slanting. Inside and outside picking, playing melodic patterns, and cross picking. These techniques are used regularly in popular styles of music. Each chapter in this program will focus on one of these techniques and provide you with a variety of exercises. You also play exercises based on familiar songs and you learn how to apply your new skills to your own music. All right, so um, let me just break this down for you. So, you know, you're in the key of E. So think about the E major scale uh, along the first string, for example. Okay, so let me just quickly explain what that... Um, exercise was based on and how you can take that idea and use it with other things. All right, before I explain what's happening in that figure, let's talk about a problem that guitar players face when they play major scale patterns. And then as you transition to the fourth string, you will use that same downstroke. You'll just push it through to the fourth string. So there's actually where the uh, sweeping occurs, and then you'll continue to sweep through the rest of the arpeggio. There's sections of that solo, that big solo at the end of the song, where you hear repeating licks uh, using economy picking like this. You use upstroke string changes while playing in a three note per string scale pattern in figure 5 4. Two way pick slanting comes into play when you arpeggiate chords. In figure 6 5, you arpeggiate G, C, and D major chords arranged similarly to Eric Clapton's Wonderful Tonight. Alright, so now the two-way pick slanting is even more apparent because you're you're going up and then you're coming right back down in one. It should be one fluid uh, movement. So you go up. Now if I was playing a passage like this slowly or at a moderate tempo, uh, moderate rate, it would, wouldn't really matter which position I play in. But as I need to increase speed, then efficiency and comfort become more critical. So if I had to play a part like this quickly, I would prefer to do the second option because I prefer inside picking. Playing along with accompaniment is a great way to practice your melodic patterns. So in this exercise, you're using a backwards roll. You're starting here in C, but then you're actually climbing up the C major scale in six. But cross-picking does not always need to have a bluegrass flavor to it. Many rock songs use cross-picking techniques as well. <laughs> You are 
are using uh, forward rolls. Starting here in this position um, be between strings three, two, and one. And this is followed by a little scale run like this, which is, I use strict alternate picking there, starting with a down stroke, down, up, down, up. In figure 10 3, you play a passage in A minor that is very similar to the run at the beginning to the guitar solo to Led Zeppelin's Stairway to Heaven. I'm going to give you four picking options here. So I'm going to break up this figure, and you're going to see it four times, and then I will talk about each picking option after you see it. <laughs> So in picking option one, uh, after the bend, when you start that uh, descending scale run, you begin picking with a downstroke and you use strict alternate picking uh, all the way down like this. So with picking option number three here, we introduce um, a hammer-on and, and some pull-offs, which eliminates some pick strokes. And see if you can figure out your own picking scheme without looking at the pick stroke markings that I have uh, provided. Um, if so, you might figure out something that works, or like me, you might be very confused and uh, like I was for years when I was trying to pick this passage until I figured out the secret. And now I'm going to tell you the secret. So if you look at the pick stroke markings that I provided, and if you watch my pick here, you're going to notice that guitar picking mechanics is not a beginner guitar program. You should already be playing at at least an early intermediate level. And you should be familiar with common guitar scales, including pentatonic and major scale patterns. Additionally, you should already understand the basic concept of alternate picking. <laughs>